Next up, I'm going to show you how to import specifically from Excel into SQL Server. And um, if I pull up this Excel sheet, you'll notice that um, the columns on this Excel sheet matches um, our database columns um, perfectly on the customers table. And uh, we're going to import these new customers. And right now, we don't have any Jeremy Long, Longhouse or Jason Dharma, Leslie Walker. Emily Lace. Um, these customers do not exist in the database currently and uh, I'm going to walk you through the steps to um, import them from that Excel sheet. So um, what you do is you go over to your database name and you right click and click on tasks and then go down to import data and we'll get this import export wizard that pops up and we'll go to the next screen and it the first thing it asks for is the data source. So we are going to be coming from a Microsoft Excel file. Now, you have options for flat file sources. That would be an example of that would be a um, CSV, comma delimited file, or you can pull from an access database. And there's some other um, data providers that you can use. But like I said, we're specifically focusing on Excel because that's probably the most common um, source of data in an organization. So I'm going to pick 2007. Um, and then I'm just going to scroll down to my import test and uh, this import test is our file as you can see and uh, and notice that the very first um, the checkbox is checked first row has column names this is very important to check if your first row does um, and then I go next and then the, it asks for the destination and I only have one instance set up and this is the server destination that we want to go to and then it asks for the database over here that you want to go to so we'll go into our YouTube create database which is where our customers table is and we will go next and then copy data from one or more tables or views so which is what we want and currently you'll see that our data sitting in sheet one um, so I'm going to select sheet one and then it asks for the destination now if I don't choose a is an existing destination that you can see is in this list um, it will automatically create this table and uh, import the data into and in this case it would create the table sheet one pound sign and uh, but in our case we want to import the data into customers and now I'm going to go down to edit mappings and uh, notice here that there's an option to delete rows and destination table. You could use this if you wanted to remove all the data that's in it first before appending the new rows. But in our case, we just want to append the row, rows, which is selected by default. And uh, we go OK. So then we go Next. And it has some warnings about the data type mismatching because um, Excel data types are not identical to SQL Server. And this can be a pain sometimes, but in our case, I think that um, our data types are fine. We don't have any crazy weird data types that we're using from Excel. So, And uh, it will fail if it has any errors, and it'll give you an exception. But we're going to go Next and say Run Immediately, and then click finished and we'll see it goes through its process of testing the data and we'll see there four rows transferred successful so let's go back to SQL Server here and I just have a query ready that's going to um, select the top 10 records from um, our customers table and it's going to order them by um, the descending order on customer ID so it's going to get the latest 10 customers so I'm going to go execute and you can see right now we don't have um, those customer names, the Jeremy Longhouse, and so I'm going to go and execute this query. And here yeah, you can see our top four records here are brand new, and uh, they've been imported and they've made it into the database. And uh, um, and uh, it has been successful, successfully imported.